What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the final, possibly the final, looks like the final Vintage Cube draft. As I just mentioned, we have one stipulation left. It's Kretsch Jr.'s. Um, some MRI mentioned that I do have a stipulation from him, them, that I don't remember. And I told them to message me. Sam MRI, if you have not done so, definitely send me an email. You can find the email address in the description below. And we can we can figure that out. I, I actually said this last night to Mike. I don't understand how you can have 57 trophies. I haven't even done 57 drafts, and I play Magic for a living. It's unbelievable to me. I haven't... I, I've done, like, 30-something cube drafts. Maybe, like, 34. And they've not only done 57 drafts, they've won 57 drafts. Team Dream Bro is the same. 42 is still insane. Like, it's actually... I don't understand. I don't understand how much time you have in your day to actually do and win those things. Anyway, the point is, we have one stipulation from Crutch Jr. that I know about. And uh, the stipulation is deny your opponents as much land as possible uh i'm not sure if i'll be able to do it right now because sometimes you just don't open those cards but as crutch jr knows if it doesn't work out this time i will definitely retain it for the next cube and we can do it then yeah it definitely could be multiple people using the account for sure like it's a it's a korean vintage cube draft team they gotta get their reps in Let's see what we got here. Oh, look, we can bring our bring our picks back up. So now we can look at our own things. Let me take this Splinter Twin. And then maybe Zealous Conscripts comes back. Or we can do the, the reverse, because Zealous Conscripts seems like a higher priority to people than Splinter Twin. We can also just get Muldrifter, too. Oh, shoot. Vili, are you in this? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious dude all right we're gonna take splinter twin i think that's a solid first pick That's good stuff. You got you got I am Valley Man right here passing to us. We are the Ragavan. It's probably I like Force of Will this early, especially because we're playing twins, so they can if they try to disrupt our stuff, we can force it. Misty's good too. Eh, Misty's fine. I think I want to take this Force of Will though and try to monopolize the blue cards. Well, no great twin cards. Frantic Search, not terrible. We could pivot into this Tezzeret. I think it's probably Frantic Search here. Yeah, I think Search is, is doable. Thank you. GK Spidey, thank you so much for the, for the sub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, we'll just take Frantic Search. It's not, like, the most exciting card ever, but... Whatever. Ravages was in that pack, but I don't know if that's... I don't know if we want to like abandon our first three picks just to just to, to hope that we can pick a ravages and start ravaging wars. I mean, if burning comes back, we might just be able to burning, but we also have no artifact mana yet. So I mean, it's not just a matter of like we we don't want to just destroy their lands. We want to be able to survive our own lands, guys. It's not the simulation isn't destroy their lands and then lose the game because you have nothing as well. The game is build. You want to build around those. Like you want to be able to have lots of artifact mana, creatures with five toughness. So, I 
Blood Crypt seems good. Yeah, it's probably just Blood Crypt. I like a Blood Crypt here. Hate on the lands all game and then just make them rage quit. Yeah, that's a that's a solid strategy. I also like Plateau. Also, Blightsteel in case we get, like, Tinker. Also, Grave Titan in case we're just pivoting into a Grixis deck. I actually kind of like Grave Titan here. Like, there's no there's no reason that we need to not be black here. And then, our you know, if we, if we limited ourselves to not black, we get to take Fire Blast here, which is not exciting. So I think we're just taking Damnation. Well, probably Dire Fleet Daredevil. I mean, it's either Daredevil or Plague Crafter based on the cards that we have so far. I'm going to take Daredevil. I think that's fine. Oh, Lava Claw Reaches is nice, especially for Grave Tightening. I was doing some math on the 57 trophies thing because I was curious. The average win rate is 12.5%. Oh, wow. So let's assume you always play mono red and drop after any loss and have a win rate of 20%, way above average. Yeah, it's 7.5% 7 above average. So 3.0 with mono red. 3.0 with mono red takes about 75 minutes all told. 7, 15 to draft, 20 per match. Let's assume the losses take 45 minutes on average since you're dropping. Um, Could be Trinket Mage if we get like Moxes. Explosion Expansion is also pretty good. It's kind of grown on me as a card. I think we'll take the Explosion Expansion. I'll take a Winter Orb just for funsies. Oh, Manic Vandal, main deckable. Main deckable. Yeah. Actually, let's Bonfire. Maybe we're Bonfiring in this match. I estimate 285 hours cubing. That's and that is a minimum because you're being. I think you're being quite generous. That's insane. I would love to take Upheaval, but Brave Sir Robin, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. With only a Blood Crypt, I'm not too sold on these black cards yet. Oh, we got a lot of Claw Reaches, too. Don't be stupid. Nevertheless, it's a Braid or Upheaval. I like Upheaval a lot. However, it is worth noting that we have no artifact mana yet. I still think this is infinitely more powerful than a braid so i'm gonna take it and then we'll just we'll take this thran dynamo now because i think it's it's gonna up it's gonna let us upheaval guys now we're upheavaling i hope that the mana leak comes back but i don't have my fingers crossed for that one azorius signet and a warm power stone maybe the warm power stone comes back we're taking azorius signet I mean, there's a couple things that can come back. Power Stone, Dig Through Time, Arid Mesa. Oh, uh, we're definitely taking Scalding Tarn here with no artifact mana. This is a this is a tarny this is a tarny kind of day. Anything here that's good? Young Pyromancer could just be a fine dude to to play. Torrential Gearhulk gets Frantic Search, I guess. Could be very good. We still have another pack. Uh, it's one of those two. I don't think it's. I think we could just Torrential Gearhulk here. It's just a fine body that does a lot of things. I like Fire and Ice a lot. Sword of Fire and Ice and Fire and Ice. I'll take Fire Ice here. It does get Force of Will. Good call. Good. Good call. I guess it's just Chain Lightning? I don't think we're smother Smugglers Coptering in this deck. Yeah, I'd rather just have a Chain Lightning. I don't think we want Mana Flare. <laughs> Siege Gang's actually probably fine here. 
You can put a splinter twin on that guy. I like Duretti. I also like Char, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna take the Duretti. Mom Spaghetti. Oh, P and Karen Alar come back? Yeah, alright. These picks have not been bad. I'm okay with these picks so far. P dig through time. Oh yeah, we're digging through time. J Speller and, and Thunder My Hellkite? Thunder My Hellkite's just a stupid win condition. I'm going to take the J Speller in though. I like Planeswalkers. Hydroid Crassus and Ophiomancer. I don't think Hydroid Crassus. Sulfuric Vortex. And the last pick you want to throw in the pack is Monastery Swift Spear, sure. Not seeing many mana rocks. We could take out the Upheaval and the Thran Dynamo if we really need to, but maybe Thran's still good enough. We'll see. Karn. Roman. Look, all three of these are these are fine. These two are fine. Karn is nice. What is the least fun thing about magic? Not being able to play your spells because of mana screw. That seems pretty easy, right? I think that's a pretty obvious thing. Like, I think if magic was fixed in such a way that let, that fairly uh, prevented mana screw, right? I think that would be the, uh, the best fix you can probably bring. I actually really like... I like Remand especially because it's good for Torrential Gear Hulk. Although for playing upheaval, like if we're playing Thran Dynamo, Karn is very, very good. I don't know if we have I don't know if we're strictly in black yet. I'm gonna take the Karn. I think the Karn is actually just too strong here. Oh, well that that pushes me towards black for sure. Huh. I also like Fiery Confluence a lot, and I think if you can just deal a bunch of damage. Uh, I think it's just Fiery Confluence here. Take Channel for Karn. Yeah, we'll just take Fiery Confluence. I'm not going to hope that we can get black mana here. Flooded Strand is nice, but we don't have a blue source yet. I think Search for Ascanta is probably, probably better. I think this is probably a, a fine 18 to have. Yeah, I'm going to take this Search. Fracture Identity is nice. We can also splash it off of the Azorius Signet. I think it's better than any of the red or blue cards in this pack. And uh, if if that Flooded Strand comes back, it's nice. This is rough because we got Upheaval with not a lot of pieces and Splinter Twin with not a lot of pieces. I think I like Karn better than Jace. Like, he just starts at 5, goes up to 6 immediately. Oh, a Bayou. That's pretty sweet. Actually, I like Goblin Dark Dwellers a lot. And if we don't play Fracture Identity, it's a nice... Uh... It's a nice replacement 5 drop. Inspiring Vantage actually is probably a great card to splash that Fractured Identity off of. Sure, I'm game. When is London coming to MTGO? I don't actually know. Pack is pretty unimpressive. Show and tell does not seem great. 
Smokestack, not great. It might just be Shrine. It could be actually Hangerback Walker seems fine for us. Rabble Master came back. That is a playable gentleman. Nahiri came back. Nahiri's nice with our uh, with our white splash. Rakdos return. Also not bad. We can take out Splinter Twin. Let's get Sun Titan over here. Titans for days. Oh, I like Wear Tear. That's nice to have. Yeah, I can see cutting Force of Will. Runaway Steamkin could be alright. Hmm. Moat. And Abbot of Carol Keep last pick. So we can take out the moat. We can take out the Force of Will. You are going to go here. Abbot of Carol Keep. Runaway Steamkin and Abbot of Carol Keep. Probably not ideal. Uh, you're a two drop. And we're actually. Let's let's see if we can bonfire here. That seems pretty. Oh, we can't do that. We can't zoom in again. That's pretty sweet. So let me reopen this because it's obnoxious when this happens hold on one second guys And we're back. All right. So we can close this one. So, oh, it didn't just start. It didn't just pop up automatically. Uh, if I click play match, will it take me to my deck? Okay. <laughs> no. There we go. Oh, biscuits. That's frustrating. All right. Well, actually, this is not bad because we can actually figure out what we want from scratch. Jace, Frantic Search, Manic Vandal. Uh, Fire Confluence, Pia. Fire Ice. Karn, Nahiri. Fractured Spleen. You're also a two drop. Torrential Gear Hulk, Karn, Dig Through Time. Explosion Expansion, and Bonfire. And I like Hangerback Walker here, actually. I think this is fine. Double Black, Double Black. Not super interested in that. Doretti's kind of cool because you can. Sack your Hangerback Walker or sack the Hangerback Walker tokens, and it's kind of a free splash off of Blood Crypt and Lava Claw Reaches. Oh, we have tons of things other than Dig and Search, right? Like, we can hit Fire Ice. We can hit, uh, not Fire Confluence, but we can hit, uh, oh, we, we take out Force of Will. Hmm, maybe. I mean, I think I think uh, torrential girl could. Oh, we, uh, fractured identity. I got real excited about, but then I was like, oh wait, oh wait. I do like finding a place for Doretti. I could see Doretti over like frantic search, but three hits is not great. But I, I mean, it's still a five six, so I'm okay with it. Also, Doretti making one ones is pretty good with Karn. I think we're gonna just play the Doretti here. I don't know. Maybe Dynamo should be in. It's good with Explosion Expansion for sure. Maybe that's correct. We can board in Dire Fleet Daredevil if we need to. And I think we just play the rest. I think we can just play 41. I'm okay with it. Hey, I'm okay with it. What if we put one in black and one white? And then we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can go to nine. And then we have five, six, no, seven. Eight, eight. So what is it? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. That should be correct. This is seven, eight, 
eight blue sources and four, five, six, seven, eight green sources, eight red sources, one, two, three white sources, and one, two, three black sources. I guess four black sources. Maybe we don't need a swamp for one black card. Four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight. I got pushed into large green dirtlers. Yeah, but that's a solid strategy. That's okay. I think we want a second red. This is so this is nine and seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that seems fine. Yeah, I would take Mox over channel. I think. If you're if you're mono green though, I think it depends on how many like big idiots that, that you can cast off of that. I will play first. <sighs> eh, this is rough, but we have all the components we need except for a white source. I think this is fine. Here. <laughs> oh, man. This is fantastic. We're having a good time. I just preemptive GG's them. This is fantastic. We were playing against I Am Valley Man, otherwise known as Billy. And, uh, just perfect. And. Come at me, bro. JK, please don't. Too late. You already. You already summoned the, the the lightning, so now you got to reap the thunder. Is that what that is? That how that goes? Well, we get a Duretti next turn. Oh look! Oh wow! Way to show off. We're all real impressed. We, well, we know he has channels, so there's that. That's a good point. Oh my god, that you put that 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 quote about the crown? Mike said that. I didn't even say that. The head weighs heavy, the crown. Like well, I was like, what are you even talking about, man? Oh look, they Oh look, it's it's a Karn it's a Karn boy. This gets one one for each artifact you control? It better not. It better not do that. I wish I hit a land. I wish. I wish I had <laughs> Jesus Christ. Guys, when I write my magic the when I when I write my biography, it's gonna be called I Wish I Hit a Land, the Frank Lepore story. What if these get plus one plus one? Oh my god, I would have been like, wait, that's broken AF.
This is funny because I've never played against Vili before. Oh, biscuits. Who's actor? Who's the actor playing you? That's a good question. Years ago, I would have said John Cusack, but he might be too old now. I don't think I can beat this. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Watch, it's going to be a top deck bonfire and we're going to have two mana, so. Soon all the lands shall be yours and maybe some random mics. I knew you were going to make a red reference. I knew you were going to make a red reference. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, well. Wow, Josh Brolin and, uh, what is it, David Hopper? David Hawthorne? No, it's not. That was a joke. That's not his name. Hey, the land that comes into play tapped. Jesus, how do we not die here? Oh, joke's on you, idiot. You don't. <laughs> Oh boy. This card is also very good. I'm actually surprised at how good this card is. It's definitely one of those cards where you're like, in the vintage cube? <laughs> but then when you play it, you're like, oh, this is really good. Every time you play red, you summon me like a devil or an imp. Probably an imp because I am small. Yeah, that sounds about right. I, I kind of knew. I was like, that's that's probably the situation that we're in. Four, five. This is... What is this, 13 damage? You get to make a bunch of big, dumb slimes. That's all I really want out of life. If someone's like, what's your, what's your biggest fantasy in life? I'm like, I want to make a bunch of big, dumb slimes. I'm just waiting for the bonfire. It's just actually, it would be perfect, right? You guys ready for the bonfire off the top? Let's all bonfire. This is not how friends... This is not how friends treat each other. Yeah, that's filthy. That is filthy. All right, let's see. Bonfire off the top. Fractured identity. Wow, if Frank was able to draw his lands, that'd be a hell of a game. Unfortunately... He was not. Unfortunately, Frank was not able to draw his lands that day. I kind of want Force of Will in here, I'll be honest. Probably more than I want Explosion Expansion against them. That's brutal. You're a two drop. You're a two drop. Okay, I'll keep it. So it's funny, he said I have oozes for days, my dude, but like we had no idea how true that was. Um, now we want to get a second blue, but we don't really need to get it yet. Because if we draw a second blue, it's great, and we can save the Scalding Tarn for the Swamp. So we definitely just want to see if we hit Scalding Tarn or Swamp first. 
Yeah, that's fine. No one, no one cares about that. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> As Frank wished for the hundredth time for an untapped land, the landlords were displeased with his lack of faith in red and found it disturbing. Yeah, you just, uh, you just described my entire life. Yeah, that's fine. I'll counter what you cast with it. <laughs> Fun police? How dare you? How dare you? Two, three, four, five, six. Metamorph comping like Rabble Master? This is not even that. This isn't even that oppressive for us, but it just kind of slows this down. I don't know what to do here, guys. I'm so confused. So, um, yeah. Cody and good luck, buddy. Enjoy your standard matches. Um, I'm gonna let this resolve. I don't think we're all in on Rabble Master here. And oh, that I was not expecting. Yikes. Well, that's something, I guess. Yeah, we're not gonna play anything else. Sure. Well, this isn't this isn't Mana Vault, this is Monolith, so it's not gonna deal them damage. Mana Vault deals the damage, Monolith does not. But also if they play like an Ulamog, then they're gonna exile like two things of ours. And we get to counter the Ulamog, but then we our our pressure is uh oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Nine. Ten nine? Just nine, huh? Oh boy. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Fun police for sure, my dude. This is why you brought in that force of will. Oh. Oof. <laughs> no hesitation. Can these guys just can I just kill you with this? Maybe. They got a two here. But the Grim Monoliths are tapped down. That's nice. Well, we're 1-1, one, one, and now you're a good friend. Congrats. <laughs> Actually, wear tear could be decent. Especially with Frexy and Metamorph as well. Yeah, that seems good. Bring in the old wear tear. Move you, move you, move you. Like, I want to take out the bonfire, but bonfire in the late game when they have like a bunch of dudes seems fine. Especially with Dynamo. Ooh. Meh. 
Chromatic Vandal seems fantastic. Duretti seems great. Four drops all seem great. Five drops seem great. Maybe it's just Gear Hulk. Actually, I like being able to, to force a will and then have a Gear Hulk up after that. Eh, it might still be Bonfire. I got the search for Ezkanta, actually. Any consideration for Vortex? Not really. I'll keep this. If they go turn two artifact, we can go Jace Bellerin. Which I'm okay with. Oh, that's, that's an artifact. Oh, my God. What are you doing? Okay. All right. Oracle of Moldaya. Land, land. One, two, three, four. Jesus, God. I want to vomit. Well, the game just ended, guys. Well, I found it already. Hermit. Well, so now I have Tooth and Nail in hand. That's good to know. Chain Lightning, I want to kill this right now. Ch -ch 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 -ch. <sighs> Awkward. I mean, if we can hit a White Source for Fractured Identity, I'm, I'm on board. I guess Jace dies here. That's sad. Fire Confluence is good though. You got a Hermit, now you got a Forest. And a Swamp. Well, that's that's very good. Wow. And then you can just untap your Monolith this turn and, uh, you know. Goodbye, Jace. Oh, interesting. Wow, if this Bonfire was next turn instead. Uh, one damage each creature times two. And we'll destroy an artifact. So we're going to draw forest. And then we actually felt pretty decent right now. Tooth forest in hand. One, two, three, four, five... We don't know about a forest in hand anymore. Come on, white source. Don't do me like this. White source or black source? Come on. Preferably white source. That seems better. However, we can bonfire for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 right now. Okay. 1, 3, 4, 5. So I guess we, we might want to. Oh, God, another island, huh? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can bonfire for four. The problem is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This just lets them. I need all the white man energy you got, guys. Alright, so their last card is Tooth and Nail. And Shielded now, but... Oh boy. Dude, this Fractured Identity would go, would go so far right now. Especially for sac. Okay, they're just gonna get... Oh, they're putting two from the hand. Did they just top deck something good? Oh boy. 
I'm cringing so hard, guys. Oh, boy. God, we've tried so hard. But in the end... <laughs> uh, 12 damage, huh? I guess we have a turn to draw an Azorius Signet or a Plains. Too thick. Too thick for me. Taking 12. All right. I don't know if a white man even does it here, but getting a shield and being able to lightning bolt this guy seems pretty good. Alright, so what we've drawn. Frantic search into one, two, three. No, nope, that one did not. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Do we have thick boys? We have the thinnest of boys. Unfortunately, I am Valley. I am Valley Man had all all the uh, all the appropriate thick boys. Sometimes you're just not thick enough, you know. That's uh, that's life. Your thickest boy is five six. Yeah, that's true. Karn is a thick boy, but he doesn't have any. Uh, any requisite stats to represent his thickness. Oh, there is no stip. That is correct. Add com. But he was picky and was sad. Man, this is the... Uh, I like the... Uh, the, the Book of Frank... Oh, Frank 316. And thus, Frank received land, but he was picky. And was thusly sad. Are you going to draft Modern Horizons after this? Maybe. But yes, probably. You know, like you do. Take all your picks in a vacuum, literally draft from a space shuttle. <laughs> okay, I mean, like, I'm game, but it might cost more than the, the the stipulation price. I feel like a requisite is getting me onto the space shuttle. If you guys can get me onto a space shuttle, I will bring a laptop and a, and a webcam and a mic. I'll even bring an external mic so you don't you have decent audio quality, and we'll draft on a space shuttle. That's my offer to you guys. You guys make it happen. And I, as a small-time Magic the Gathering streamer, will make that shit happen. Uh, this is interesting. I think we're going to actually play Azoria Signet, because then we can just play Nahiri next turn. Which mic will you bring? Oh, so that's, that's an interesting question. I would actually have them all fight to the death, and the winner gets to come on the spaceship. You know, much like the way we'll do things in the future. So, you know. It's just a trial run. It's basically a trial run. Oh god, are they going to kill their own... Oh, he didn't deserve it. Oh. He's... God, he was taken too soon. He was taken too soon. Can you get an estimate what that would cost? Just ballpark it. To actually get an, on a spaceship... To have, like, three hours of free time on a spaceship <laughs> where, like, you're actually, like, um, 
decontaminated in such a way that you wouldn't like ruin all the instruments and things yeah i don't know probably thousands of dollars i would assume that's my wacky guess 30 million that's probably high but it's probably closer than uh yeah we can discard scalding tarndy scalding tarndy what the hell is that New donation goal, $500,000. <laughs> you think it's got to be in the millions for just a spaceship? You're not, like, going into space, right? Like, are we going into space? Are we getting on the spaceship and drafting there? Or are we getting on the spaceship, taking off, and then drafting? Because those are two different things. Those are two very different price points. Elon Musk, you in the chat by any chance? Yo, can someone get SpaceX on the line? Did they not? Huh. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Huh. Well, that's something. Oh, that's right. It wasn't it wasn't space, it was a vacuum. Vacuum was the stipulation. That's a good point. That's a good point. Trips to the International Space Station have cost upwards of 35 million per sp Oh, Jesus. SpaceX's moonshot is aiming much higher. Okay, so yeah, realistically, our, we're going to have to raise the sub goal here, guys. This is a pretty. This was a costly play. I think we're just keeping everything in hand here. What was the other card? Oh, my own Doretti. Just do a Kickstarter, try to use thirty-four billion, and build your own private space company. That's actually a good idea. I uh, I don't know why I didn't think of that. This is why you guys have the entrepreneurial spirit, and I do not. Clearly. Oh, they were scared of the Emrakul, which is nice. I I like Karn better than Nahiri on this board, but. Ancestral Visions. Satisfied. Satis satisfactory. Um, let's make a dose dose. And let's make it a quattro quattro. Imagine all the space mics out in the galaxies. That's that's what I do every day, man. I'm like, think of all those space mics. Space Adventures has partnered with Armadillo Aerospace to provide suborbital space flights at a price of 102,000 per ticket with more than 200 tickets already reserved. 102,000 guys, that's a lot more reasonable. All right. Let's do it. Let's make this draft happen, guys. Oh, I like calling them Donatinos. That's the those are those are the Mexican donations. I'll just reveal here. What did you give me instead of a planes? Yeah, that's fine. Whatever, man. Whatever you want to do. I don't know why they didn't equip this guy unless they have a counter spell they're keeping up. Mm, okay. <laughs> a Donatino is a female donut. I thought about another step. I thought any pick for any pick you take, you can only choose the card if you can use one of the words in the title of the card and the title of something from cop culture, movies, music, tea. Oh, that sounds like it's right up my alley. You can take Fire Ice by saying we didn't start the fire. Or I can be like a song of fire and ice. If you can't think of a pop culture reference, you take the card automatically given to you. Oh, like you just let it time out? Good luck drafting Riffling Cloud Skate. 
Oh, man. Oh, this guy again, huh? This old chestnut again, huh? Oh, boy. We're getting aggressive here. Why aren't they equipping their skull clamp? This is very strange. So, if we fire one and one, we can attack for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. that good what does that do if they just block here and here they take one two three four one two and then we're like we're, we're one away from killing them with i don't think they're, they're probably just gonna block like this right one two three four we can also deal two to the to the thief block here i don't really want them to trade for the four four is the thing uh cancel the cast fire can we actually one one yeah we're just gonna yeah that's actually i let's look at expansion here uh one two fire one two okay expansion shut up and take my copy. money just put this toward the neck not next nonsense <laughs> fantastic oh man that's good times okay so what's going on here we're copying this bad boy and then we go one and one. And then uh, that should do it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's that's what's known as exaxes. But let's not have six in case they have something to kill our things with. And then we're just like, oh, that's really sad. <clears throat> oh, see, look, I knew it. I knew it was too good to be true. Uh, do we want to put a card from what's what's exiled right now? These two? Nah, we'll just plus Karn. Oh, see, Richard, I knew it. It's not so much here or here, but like right here. <laughs> Jesus. Wow, that was an, that was the most obscure. I like that you say Richard, I knew it, and I'm like Tommy Boy, beautiful. Or Black Sheep? No, that was Black Sheep. Was that? No, that was Tommy Boy. That was Tommy Boy. I want you to desperately need an upheaval for your deck in that step. Wow. Upheaval. That is tough. There's a reason I subscribed to your <laughs> Oh, God, what happened to your face? See, Richard, I knew it. I'll have the wings. Oh, sorry. Cook's not in yet. The fryer, the, so, so we, can't, we can't use the fryer yet. Tommy want wingies. Okay, well... Did you get gas? They're all out. They only had diesel. Okay, well, I'm going to put one goalie stipulation in the queue. Also, every time you every time you leave your stipulation in the chat, goalie, um it actually, it always gets cut off because it's too long. Gee, Richard, that's an awfully pretty lady down there. Oh, this is an interesting hand, isn't it? I'm going to mulligan because of this bonfire and because no red sources. Come on. Okay. 
I'll keep this. I'll keep the Jace because you do have a Fire Ice. So, that's decent. We can go get a Blood Crypt. Man, remember the time we're like, yeah, we'll first pick Splinter Twin. This will be great. Last cube, we'll Splinter Twin. And then you know what happened? Saw nothing else. Meanwhile, if you took Zealous Conscripts like a, like a mature adult, you could have a Zealous Conscripts in your deck right now. Stupid dummy. I think we actually just tap their land down now because reason being, I like being able to play Jace on an empty board. So, have you ever done a 3-0 step? Yeah, tons of this, yeah, several times. Numerous times. Sometimes the decks just turn out good. Who is your favorite who's your favorite little rascal? Is it Alfalfa or is it Spanky? Sinner. <laughs> I can't, man. These 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 uh these Tommy Boy hot cuts we're doing here. This is nice, man. This is good stuff. Hey man, have you ever done a three uh O stipulation? Oh, is that what you were gonna say? Huh. Well, now they're gonna now they're gonna fill their hand up to go to eight, eight cards. That's unbelievable. Did you guys do the destroy land stipulation? No, we did not. That is a hard one to do. But as always, I mentioned it, I actually mentioned it in the last draft. As always, it is in the queue. And we will get to it. Well, that's rude. You're being rude right now. Is this where you want to be when Jesus comes back? That's actually from Joe Dierte and not from Tommy Boy, so. Hmm. Hmm. I feel better about that just because I want to kill this Jace, but they have five cards in hand? But then they get to flip Jace and duress us again? No, we're killing that thing. I really wish you had a land in play. That'd be great. Or not a land, but wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we're so close. I wish you had an artifact in play is what we were going to say there. Deals one damage. Yeah, that's fine. You're talking to my boy all wrong. It's the wrong tone. You do it again. I'll stab you in the face with a soldering iron. Uh, it's pronounced Joe Dierte. Got him. Well, that's unfortunate. Don't play anything else. I, I'm asking you nicely. I'm trying to be polite. I know if you've gone three zero on many stipulation, would rather have you done a step where you must. Oh, a step where you must three zero. I don't think so. That's definitely more difficult. Well. Hmm. What can we get? Fire Ice is probably what we're looking for, but it's in the graveyard. 
Siege Gang is great, but we, they're still going to get a hit off Thief of Sanity here. Which is pretty scary. Yeah, I, I think it's still... I think it's still Siege Gang. One hundred and twenty Christopher Walken's bits. <laughs> Are those Christopher Walken's bits? Do you think? Yeah, we'd have to use three, and then we grab a land, and we only have four left over. Thief of Sanity, man. Thief of Sanity's not even like it's a it's it's a two two like it's a two two flyer, big deal. But the ability is so terrifying. You're just like, well, think of the worst card in your deck. You could get that, and like the the best card, the worst card for them to get. So when can we expect a sweet Black Red Goblins modern deck from you? There are some spicy additions in Modern Horizons. Uh, never. Got him. Got him. I think I need more cowbell. I got a prescription, and the I got a I got a fever, and the only prescription is more cowbell. Uh, one two three, one two three, and then we can't do anything else. I mean, we're definitely killing this, right? Rip me, I have been got. Yeah, get him. Get wrecked, Lance. Whatever, nerd. Uh, I have no idea what they took, but they definitely... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They definitely fueled our dig through time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We are one mana away. Do we just exile? No, because then Karn dies, Maybe. I guess that's not terrible, right? They have three cards in hand, though, and four mana up. Blah. I'd rather just shoot them and have a clearer board. Why play goblins and you can play mono red prison? I just read that. I just read that comment. Good lord. Sometimes I don't know whether I'm reading the newest comment or an old comment. He's like, well, I guess I'll attack. <clears throat> so this is nice because you can go block. Kapow. Where does one donate to have a reading on stream? Oh, that's the uh, that's the Audible package. We have that down below. I get paid by the word, so uh, choose any target. This guy, and he'll sack himself. Sacrifice you to manage your ability. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. I'm out of here again. Just email me if you did any more nonsense. I'll check out later. Goalie, sounds good, buddy. Thank you so much for the support, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. So are your shenanigans. And I'm sure we'll play again in the near future. I'm looking forward to the YouTube comments on the Mike B store. I'm gonna actually, yeah, I'm gonna clip them all, and uh, and splice them together. Is this where you want to be when Jesus comes back? Did we put? Is do we have the force of will?
Well, no time like the present, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, one, Jace, Nahiri. Uh, this one, land, Shut up and take my and money. land. Wow. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief. It was the epoch of incred incredulity. It was the season of light. It was the season of darkness. It was the spring of hope. <laughs> so right there, that's where you uh, that's where you get it. I'm gonna take this fractured identity. One two three. One two three four. And probably land. Yeah, it doesn't feel great, but I guess we're gonna fracture it in our sund sundering titan. Get lots of triggers. And, uh, well, here we go. How did you do that? He literally just donated and added, added his text to the donation. Don't, don't make him seem like a wizard. You're a wizard, Chrissy. Oh, little Kapow. So they get to kill one mountain and one island, but then we get to kill three of their lands. So, you know. Yeah, joke's on you, buddy. Nobody gets any land this game. Meh, meh, meh. Duretti, Duretti, eat my mom's spaghetti. Animate dead on Siege Gang. Watch, we're going to top deck Bonfire, which would be absolutely spectacular here. However, not as much so because of no red. But now we have a red, so I guess that's good, right? Well, I think we're I think we're actually dead here. No, we're not dead. Like, they're just going to sacrifice a construct to kill the Sundering Titan, which is fine. We get to eat their last blue land if we do that. Bonfire's still an out. Oh, they're not doing that. Okay. Uh, okay. You know it's a liability? Sundering Titan. Do we know what they got with Thief of Sanity? Was it three lands? Was it Island, Mountain, Blood Grip? No, that was what you sang. I have no idea, actually. Okay, well, that's... That's a, certainly a thing. Oh, that's our Duretti? That's messed up. What a bunch of shit. <laughs> I 
I wasn't even paying attention. Unbelievable. I think they're holding off on killing the Sundering Titan to the point where they don't lose their last blue mana. And we're just trying to bonfire here. And the two cards we hit on the top were not bonfire, so... Positive. Oh, I see. You just have sneak attack and uh, a thing you're going to... Yep, okay. Welp. Uh, I mean, it, it, this is as worse as it can get because we just lose our Lava Claw reaches, so. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. I'm at the top of the leaderboard for MH1 draft. <laughs> Case, well done, buddy. Well done. Where is it? Modern Horizons Fantasy Draft League. Are you? Did someone overtake you? Oh, someone overtook you. Young Prodigy overtook you. This is fine. These are all constructs. I don't even care. Wow, our opponent's like, we got scumbag Steve over here, guys. Uh, does this do anything? It kills a construct. I don't think that's great. Whatever. Like, we're still in Rabble Master territory. If we can get a Rabble Master and wipe their board, then we're literally on kind of even footing. What do I do with my singular token? You get nine more and you can draft again. It takes ten Modern Horizons tokens to do a draft, which is super weird. They could have just given you ten extra play points. Isn't that the same thing? No, I guess because they're 25, they could have just given you 25 extra play points. Isn't that the same thing? There's no artifacts in the graveyards that we care about, right? That Sun Titan was... Sundering Titan was exiled, so... Opinion on the new MTGO look? I think it looks great. I think it is a solid upgrade. It just doesn't... It. It's just a... It's a harmless update, so... I think if you look like I think if I think if you think it looks like Windows ninety five, you probably haven't seen Windows ninety five in quite a while. And this guy's dead. 
from Siege Gang sacking itself, perhaps? Seems good. I don't know why they're reluctant to use these Duretis. Like, you have four tokens you could just easily sacrifice to kill my creatures. Sure. Oh, uh, Sundering Titan was exiled, so that's never happening. Well, they don't have anything to ult on, though. There's nothing. Choose an artifact in a graveyard or artifact on the battlefield. There's nothing on in the graveyards. There's nothing on the battlefield. Like... They're also basically in, like, top deck mode, so, I mean, if they're hoping to just draw something to ult on rather than, like, advancing their board position, that seems strange. Yeah, they could just want three Azorius Signets. Can't argue with that. There we go. See? Now we're talking. Man, it's too bad the dig through time converted mana cost isn't isn't too. What do we get with Dark Dwellers right now? Can we get Fire Ice? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bank on this one Thopter token when we're a little behind here. <laughs> Seems surprisingly good, actually. We did it, guys. Now I wish I didn't block. All right, well, Duretti and Boros Signet for uh, P and Karen LR. We're getting somewhere. How are we still alive this game? This is incredible. This game is insane. <laughs> yeah, I, th I thought this game was over too, man. Once this Ashen Rider came down, I was like, well, we're basically dead. But then we were not basically dead. This guy's problematic, but... One, two, three, four, five. We can play Dark Dwellers if we hit a land. All right, well. Hmm. Can't do that. How many lands are left in your library, though? Probably none. Boy, I'd really like a way to... If only Chain Lightning was a lightning bolt, huh? Can you imagine? Putting me to two here. Oh, putting me to four. I like it. I do like explosion for zero. It just sends a message. Oh, yeah, that guy's dead. Can you... One... No, you don't have blue, so... Nice. Nice. Bonfire is our only target. That is unfortunate. So now I think we're dead to this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, we were we were dead to this or the Lava Claw Reaches. So we can Lightning Bolt. We can Chain Lightning this and then have nothing to kill the Lava Claw Reaches with. So we're dead to both. Uh, the only hope is if Goblin Dark Dwellers could get this guy. Nope. 
Yep, let's... I think we're 1-2 right now. Jeez. Unless we get another game. Do we get another game? Oh, alright. Well, that wasn't even the end. This was the end. <clears throat> Definitely bringing in Force of Will here. Uh, probably Wear Tear as well, maybe? Yeah, I don't know about all that. And they took our... They took our Duretti. Mom Spaghetti. I'm going to get the bonfire out. All right, let's, uh, yeah, actually, if I just remembered that, um, if I remember that they also had sneak attack, I would have been, a wear tear would have been fine. Turn three Jace with an extra land is nice. Turn four Fracture Identity also pretty good. Don't duress me, bro. Asked you nicely. You didn't do it. Unfortunate. Oh, fascinating. How many two drops do they have? Not enough. All right, sounds good. Sure. Tufa one. If we can draw a red source, that would be great because we can pee in Kieran Alar. If we can draw, an, I'll take an inspiring vantage as well. Uh, Karn actually seems pretty great here. Okay. Well, that's pretty good because we can just play pee in Kieran Alar next turn. Or Cloudscape. Oh, Inspiring Vantage or Island. I bet they, give, they bet they give us Island. I bet they give us Island. Out, am I? Um, let's play P and Kieran Noir here. So next turn we can grab the uh, Inspiring Vantage, play that, and Riffling Cloud Skate, and then we just get to keep up Fracturing Identity forever. In Modern Horizons draft, you get Plague Engineer. It's the bombiest card I've played with. It is single-handedly one of my matches. Also, Kes, also Kes is good. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'll keep my eye peeled for the uh, the Plague Engineer. Coligon's Command killing one-on-one, -on -one, sure. I'm just going to let Karn go to three here. Or go to one, rather. Um, Does that do anything? No. Yeah, we'll go one more, then. Whoa, Siege Gang or Fiery Confluence? Gas. Gasoline. Again, wish I had that. Wish they had an artifact. M -m -m main. Cast this dude. Deals one to each creature, deals two to each creature, and deals two to each opponent. One, two, three, four. I don't know what we're doing next turn. I would just like to play Riftwing Cloudscape if we have the option. Oh, look, they did it. They are back in the game. Oh, 
I'm back in the saddle again. I'm back in the saddle again. We'll just play this. Oh, Force of Will or ex Explosion Expansion? Yeah, this feels good because next turn we can go uh, Explosion Expansion for four on whatever they play. Which will be that. Um, do we want to go to one here? I guess so. Now let's get Force of Will, actually. And we can easily discard two lands here. Like, I don't want to get rid of Fractured Identity to Force of Will, but if I have to, I'll do it. Come on, OP timeout. <laughs> I mean, I feel like we're way ahead here. Yeah, that's fine. Bane fire for two. Sure. Ain't nobody got time for that. So how much mana do we have? Five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can hang her back for three, which is nice. Let's get a red Rabble Master. One, two, three. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, we can just play. We can let's play Duretti Manic Vandal. Yeah, this is a nice turn. Let's deal to that. Got him. I think we're ahead. Plus, we got that Force of Will on deck. Of the new additions to the queue, what do you want to see kept in? What do you want to not see kept in? I think Primal... Oh, they did have their own Duretti. That's interesting. I think uh, Finale of Devastation is just not really necessary. Like, you have Green Sun Zenith already. That's actually fine. I mean, you're going to draw two here, but then you have no blockers. We get to kill Duretti, and we get to also kill your Skull Clamp, so... Are you... We, we, do we can all just kill... Can we just kill you? You're just dead, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, this is just death. Attack you. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's exact six. Right, it's just like, I feel like it's a redundant card. I really dislike that much redundancy in the cube like if you have like two x spells that search for a card okay well do you really need two thank you troy monster thank you so much for the sub buddy really appreciate it welcome welcome hmm sand seems fine playing against the old witch king guys In before a uh, bonfire off the top.
Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. Magic's hard, guys. Magic's hard. Oh, you know, it doesn't even bother me as much as the fact that it happened. Does that make sense? Like, the fact that it happened after I said it, that's what weirds me out. <laughs> it's weird to film pre-recorded streams, Frank, but I guess you... Oh, I think you mean stream pre-recorded streams, right? Uh, yeah, you're great, but you're not what we're looking for, unfortunately. Long time viewer back to the TCG Player Days. Really been enjoying. Thank you so much, man. Troy, really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you for the support. Glad to hear it. Yes, but you're going to, you know, put them up on YouTube so they're being filmed and shut up. You know what I meant. I did. I did know what you meant. I did. Oh, a little fauna shaman. Oh, it's a little... Oh, shit. Well... Time to poop our pants, boys. I mean, all things considered, this is a more reasonable Eldrazi. Whatever the hell that means. A graveyard. All right, that's helpful. All right, we're gonna ice this baby. We get three looks. We get the look for the draw for the turn, the search draw, and the ice draw. Chill out. <laughs> okay, that's not going to do it. All right. All right, two more. Top two cards. Nahiri. I think it's probably just Nahiri. Mm, maybe it's something else. I don't care about that. Draggy Boy is Bay, but that's, that's fine. Nope. Junk it. That's, that's, that's our death. Well, we had a good run, guys. We had a good run. If we had literally six mana here, we could, uh, we could, we could, we could ice again and get another draw. Um, what is this? Twelve. This makes three dudes. We sack three, and a land, and then we take seventeen. Magic's so hard. I guess we could sack all four, sack, search, tap this guy down, block. We're not dead. We're not dead. Okay, that's fine. Sure, do your thing. Oh, we're keeping all the lands for sure. Because we want a Torrential Gear Hulk. What is this you're doing? What is this? What are you doing right now? You let this guy resolve and then play some for four? Huntmaster of the Fells? Xenagos. Well, that's probably going to do it. There are no cards we can draw that. Because we're going to have to sack all of these in this to keep up Gear Hulk. So we'd have 12 plus 5 plus... Actually, we could have kept Search and flipped it next turn, which gives us another look. Manic Vandal's not going to do it. Frantic Search could let us dig three deeper. Would have found the Nahiri. And we had to deal with a bunch more things. Let's bring in Force of Will again. Because, good lord. Uh, I actually like Wear Tear here because it kills Corsor Crucifix.
I'm pretty sure that's how they get you. You can't buy play points. So instead of play points, we'll give you tokens. Because then, if you have four tokens, you'll buy six more tokens to draft again. But I still don't know why they don't just use tickets in that case. But I guess it's because tickets can't be used... Uh, tickets can be used for other things, right? So if you only have four Modern Horizons tokens, well, you can't use those on anything else but Modern Horizons, so... You better buy enough to do a draft or else you'll have them forever. Take Dark Dwellers out, maybe. Just, actually, now they have this, it's probably better. I don't know, man. Magic's hard. Take Frantic Search out? Nope. That's a good two. It's probably Bonfire, but, I mean, whatever. We already have Fiery Confluence, so... Yeah, that seems good. <clears throat> I mean, good as can be expected when they're going to channel turn two and cause like us. <clears throat> okay, less less scary. it up what do we want here jace bellerin force of will a, a white mana to not get channeled oh uh, yeah you can put that in the graveyard ain't nobody got time for that might as well suspend you. We got a turn four and a turn five coming up that are pretty, pretty jam packed. My schedule is really full here, Riffling Cloudskate. Oh, I see. Well, that's fascinating. Where are you last turn? No, I want to keep this. It's good enough. Oh Christ, we're gonna we're gonna die. Uh, I'm cringing real hard right now. I can't look, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, so that's fine. Meh. This is where they plus it to add a red to sneak attack something, right? Don't do it, man. Don't do it. I've got a family. He doesn't care about my family at all. God, don't be a Kozilek. Oh, you biscuit. Are they going to do their own stuff? That would be cool. I mean, leaving us with two 3-3s three when this guy dies, they got to do their own stuff, right? This is interesting. Hmm. We get two 3-3s? Three it's not terrible. I've seen worse. 
And I got search for Ezconto. Yeah, we're not taking 10 here. Bye bye. We also have Riffling Cloudscape coming down. This is actually not terrible for us. Inspiring Vantage. Oh, uh, no, I'll keep that. Got to recover. The recovery is real right now. Attack Xenagoose. Attack Xenagoose. Attack Xenagoose. Actual design and asset terrestrial, much more balanced than those Eldrazi. So we get to kill Xenagos and we get to kill your noble hierarch, perhaps. <clears throat> and now we just get to hope you don't have Kozilek, because that would be terrible for us. But if we can bounce this, Forest is okay. Vindhorn Elves is okay. Activating sneak attacks, not okay. That's... That's alright. I can deal with that. I only need nine cards anyway. I'm good to go. <clears throat> I am G2G, my friends. I'll take ten. I'll go to nine. I ain't, I ain't scared. They have one card left. We got a force of will. Got it. Good to go. Well, I'm never flipping anything. I'm never putting anything in the graveyard now with nine cards. I will keep all things. Let's cast this dude. Let's bounce this thing. Hmm. Uh, nope, I'll just keep it. It's fine. Totally fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There is, presumably, if I didn't miscount, one land left in our deck. <clears throat> so that's pretty rough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yep. One land left. That seems a little too good. Good news, the Signet's still in the deck. Here it is, right now. Ready? Fiery Confluence. Definitely keeping that, too. That just kills you at some point. Well, now you're at six. So, any red mana. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. I think there's nine red sources. So if there's actually, the, I think the last, oh god, the last land in our deck is actually Scalding Tarn. That's pretty comical. Are you ready? Last land cannot actually get, it's not even a land. Oh, this is wonderful. Scalding Tarn. Frantic Search? No, I'll keep that. That's a thing to do. If we can hit Chain Lightning, we get to kill their... <laughs> oh, boy. Magic, you're a real... Uh, you're a real sport, my friend. You are a real sport. Chain Lightning still in the deck? It's gotta be, right? So we can kill this guy and then kill them, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Wow. <laughs> yep, the old uh, <clears throat> two cards left in your library. Shouldn't have been. Where did we get the two cards even? Seems good. Seems good. 
Do we bring in Moat? Man, Moat seems like it'd be unbelievable. What are they doing against a Moat? How much... I guess they could Terastodon and kill the Moat. Boy. Boy, boy, boy. I mean, we could cast mode if we skew our mana base towards white a little heavier. I think we're just fine. Whatever. Yep, that's not going to do. Not great, but we'll keep it because going to five is worse. Bottom you. And they went to six too. Lava Claw, Lava, Lava Claw reaches into Azorius Signet. How about that? Yeah, I'll take search for his content. Turn two Noble Hierarch, sure. Boy, our mana's pretty rough here. <laughs> two away from Doretti, two away from Nahiri, two away from this, four, five away from this. Frantic Search is nice, but it also fills our graveyard up pretty efficiently. Uh, no, that seems great. I'll keep that. Come on. That seems good. Uh, keeping this... Probably get rid of Doretti and Wear Tear here. Because we have Dark Dwellers. <clears throat> Next turn we can Nahiri as well. So if they play like Sneak Attack, we can Dark Dwellers. Or we can Nahiri it, which is nice. Oh boy, that's a dude. That is a dude. We could cast moat. You ain't kidding. You ain't kidding. We just gets don't don't play anything. I guess. I mean, we take six, then we just kill it. Meanwhile, they'll get five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands, so they can just now they're in hard casting Terastodon slash. Uh, Kozilek slash Ulamog territory. Yeah, that's a big fat yikes for me, dog. Well, this is going well. <laughs> Their mulligan was a little more efficient than ours. Our deck was pretty underwhelming, though. Guys, check out meundies.com slash Frank Rapport if you're looking for a sweet upgrade to your wardrobe. They actually have some, some sweet Star Wars prints going on right now. And you get 15% off <clears throat> along with free shipping and free returns if you use promo code. The, not the promo code, but the affiliate link, which is meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. Getting a little dry throat there, apparently. Uh, I guess we'll just take 10. Go to nine. We play Nahiri. Kill this. Make another guy. We take eight. Go to one. And, you know, that's basically... That was how he died. He died how he lived. Going to one. Graveyard. Chain lightning. Nahiri. 
exile you. They have one red, so we can chain lightning one of these. Probably the noble hierarch. We're gonna target the Nahir, the Nissa, because if we get to uh, if we get to Goblin Dark Dwellers, we can just do it again and kill her. Also, feel free to check out ManaTraders.com. They have pretty sweet subscription service for Magic Online digital cards. So if you want to test out modern decks or legacy decks, you can borrow cards or standard decks even. Or they have a physical paper service that you can utilize. And you'll get 20% off for the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code in my description. So definitely check those out. Go to one. Seems good. Well, you know, you know what they say. Fracture. Oh boy, graveyard. Yes, fracturing gust. Fracturing gust. Fracturing identity. We actually kill this. We get it back. We can kill a forest. We can block another forest. But then they still have this, so we're just losing on too many metrics here. Unfortunately, he who smells it does have it. That is true. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitter, Nope, Twitch, and uh, Patreon, wherever. All the links all the, are in the description below. You can check those out, and I'll see you guys next time.